Hello, you got Mr. And Mrs. Smith, Smith. the Death Free Couple, coming to you live from North Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just want to talk about financial literacy or the lack thereof financial literacy as it relates to Little Rock, Arkansas. You see, I was doing a little homework. I'm a bit of a geek. And I was doing a little homework, and I was looking up some information, and I discovered that the state of Arkansas, the great state of Arkansas, and if you live here, you know it's a great state. The great state of Arkansas came in at number 40 out of 50 states, 51 if you include D.C., as it relates to financial literacy. So here it is. We're in the bottom 20% as it relates to financial literacy. That's a problem. Yeah. And the reason why, you know, I think that it has a great deal to do of us not being financial literacy, for one, it's not taught in our school system at all. And it's not taught in many school systems. Arkansas is just one of them, so we're just going to stick to Arkansas for now. But it's not taught anywhere in our school systems. We both did great at school, graduated with great grades and 3.5 type grade point average, did some college, but none of which taught us really about money, how to understand it, how to benefit from the things that wealthy people were using and implementing that because of it, our financial literacy was low. So based on us alone, we deserved to be in the, to come in at number 40 out of 50 people as it relates to financial literacy. And we're just a reflection of the rest of the state. So we understand why financial literacy is so low because it's not taught in schools Anywhere. You got anything you want to add on that? Yeah, I mean, when you think about financial literacy, um, also, you have to think about how it's not only affecting us, but it's affecting generations, especially a ton of generations Thanks. before us. See, when you, when you really think about it, I only know or knew what my parents taught me. Well, if my parents also didn't know much about money, then guess what? They just taught me what they knew. And who taught them? Their parents. But see, if no one really knew how to manage money, you know, uh, wise spending, how to not go into debt, the importance of credit, the importance of assets, the importance of leaving an inheritance for your children's children, then guess what? We would have been in much better situations. But because of the fact that they only knew what they knew, and it's not to say that they couldn't have read, read a book or look some things up online like we're doing now, right? That's how we're breaking those curses. But it's not to say that they, they couldn't have done that. They very well could have. But some people feel as if they just don't know where to start, especially the fact that it's not taught in, in the school systems. So what are we to do? What are the solutions? Like, how can we break these generational curses? And, and before I just dive straight into the solutions, I just want you to ask yourself this question. How often are you using finances? How often are you making and or spending money? Every, Every day. day. You either, if you're an adult, you're either making or spending money around the clock outside of the time that you're asleep. So, with that being said, that just automatically tells you that it's a high level of importance that needs to be taught and implemented on a consistent, long-term basis. Now, second question, how long will you need some form of finances and income? Forever. For life. As far as you can look out into the future, as long as you feel you may live, you will need some form of income in order to sustain and, and take care of whatever your lifestyle may be now or then. So it's mandatory in order to have some type of financial literacy in place because you're going to always be using finances to some degree from, for as long as you live. This is not to be procrastinated on or pushed off. However, what we did was do our homework, our due diligence, and implemented some things that give us the confidence that we know we have these solutions. We yeah. know we have the solution as it relates to financial literacy and bridging the wealth gaps that exist in America, but also Little Rock, Arkansas. So what we did was found a company that we know, love, and trust called My Econ, which is the personal financial success company. And the reason why it's called My Econ is because it's short for My Economy. Because we believe that if you can control your own economy, you don't have to worry about the economy. So here's the thing. We teach individuals how to take care of their own economy. Your own economy is your household. 
where you live. And if you get a full control of the buying and the spending and the investing that takes place in your household, now the outside economy has less of an effect because you're doing what's necessary for yourself. So not only do we educate you on how to do those things, we show you the importance of it and how to pass down that type of knowledge. So consider my econ its own educational platform. It's like its own online university or college yes. centered around money, first and foremost, to help you better the finances you already have to have personal financial success. But also, you can grow your cash flow by investing or if you want to help others and get passionate and become ambassadors for your area in making money as well. So the list goes on, but you got to understand that if there's a problem, which we've definitely notice and you know proven that a problem exists as it relates to financial literacy across the nation but more importantly in the state of arkansas then we must partner with a solution we're not the type to talk about problems 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 yeah. without giving you solutions 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 and in this case one solution can be found within my income but it consists of many incomes or cash flows that help solve all of the problems that we deal with in the state of Arkansas. Yeah, most definitely. One of the first things, you guys, is making sure you minimize your taxes. Absolutely. You need to understand, y'all, there's a form called the W-4, and we actually did a video going over that form and the new IRS withholdings calculator. What you need to understand about that form, see, so many people down in the South, we're down here working jobs, and we feel that that's the only way to get ahead, right? Now, there are some entrepreneurs, plenty of them, around the state of Arkansas, but this is what we need to understand. One of the things that's holding us back is understanding taxes. We need to learn how to legally, ethically, and morally minimize our taxes. Starting out with that W-4 form if you're working a job and then transitioning into when you start a business, understanding the importance of business deductions. Yes. Things that, money that you're spending that's going towards your business, do you know that a bulk of that money can be written off on your taxes? And those give you tax advantages at the end of the year? See, we have to just get our knowledge up. If you truly want something, you're going to go after it. You cannot leave your freedom. You cannot leave uh, knowledge and understanding in somebody else's hands. Yes. If you really want it, you have to do your due diligence and you have to research. You can partner. You can get you a money membership like what we did to really help take things to the next level. So at the end of the day, also one of the solutions is just being self-sufficient, being proactive, not waiting waiting until a catastrophe or something hit in your life before you decide to take your finances to the next level. See, and in conjunction with that, after we show you minimizing your taxes and understanding the importance of it, you see, if you look at yeah. anything political, a lot of things are geared back towards taxes. A lot of times it's over our head because we don't feel it's important because we weren't taught that it was important. But we show you, look, it's a legal way to go about minimizing your taxes. Wealthy people created the law so they can benefit from the tax laws. People move from other countries in order to come to the United States of America in order to benefit from our tax law system. So it must be something in it. Now, if we show you how to minimize those taxes and bring in more cash flow into your household, guess what else you can do with that additional money? You can wipe out your debt a whole lot faster. On top of that, you'll start looking at your finances and looking at things that you might be spending on that might not necessarily have to be spent on, which can show you how to get rid of those bills, get rid of those expenses, bring in even more cash flow to do more things with. But that's just a part of it. We want you to understand the importance of bringing in that cash flow so you can grow that money. You see, when the money comes to you, it shouldn't just stop there. Money should also be reinvested to make more money. That's a whole dynamic that can be incorporated into the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And we teach those things inside of my econ so you can have personal financial success. Yes. And we can break the dynamics of what's going on in Little Rock, Arkansas and put us on a higher level. Yeah, we're at number 40, but we don't have to stay there. Sure don't. With us having conversations like this with you and with you taking action and really understanding, okay, I want to be a part of the crusades for financial literacy. I want to be a part of making sure my household, my economy, my econ puts me in a better situation to where I can pass off the knowledge that I'm learning for generations to come. You see, it starts with you. We've already taken on the role of being the leaders or the pioneers to 
make the difference in our family. But it's up to you to do that for you. And we're here to help you and assist you in making that happen. Yeah, and then once you really become financially literate, you guys, everything else falls in place, right? Because the things that you'll be learning alongside minimizing your taxes is just learning how to manage your cash flow, making better financial decisions, learning the true way to budget, right? Learning entrepreneurship, business ownership, and then eventually learning uh, how to purchase and put your money into asset accumulation uh, or asset producing uh, assets, okay? Yep, yep. Producing assets, uh, income producing assets is what I meant. I messed that up a couple of times. Ah, but income producing assets is where you want to put your money and you really want to eventually learn about capital gains and dividends. So we can most definitely turn this state around if enough people just make the decision to become financially literate and we can all do it. We most definitely can. Absolutely. And a lot of people have those goals. They just don't know where to start. Well, now you do. We show you in a personal financial success company exactly where you need to start in order to accomplish those goals. Do you want to buy a home? Okay, let's get you to where you're bankable. Let's get you to where you're in a place to where you're not only qualified, pre-qualified, you're in a position to where you can be the homeowner that you desire, deserve to be if that's something you desire. So no matter what your financial goal is, whether you want to boost your credit or just get out of debt or just have more money saved or have an income producing asset in the form of ongoing income that comes to you, we can show you all of those ways using one system, one solution that allows you or allots you the capability to hit your financial goals strategically, but it increases your financial IQ all at the same time. So it's yes. a problem in Little Rock, Arkansas, as it relates to our lack of financial literacy, our lack of knowledge and not understanding economic empowerment and the importance of it, even though we're dealing with it on a consistent day-to-day -day basis. However, the solution has arrived, and the solution is seriously centered around you, better your finances, and we're here to help you. We're the leaders of My Econ in the Little Rock area and expansion leaders here to help you partner with us so we can take your finances further, faster, with a lot less effort. But it will take some work. It will take you taking the initiative to do certain things because your personal finances won't change if you don't personally get involved in them. You see, we're not here to just say that, hey, this is a fix-all. You just get partnership or get access to the membership and it takes care of itself. Self. No, you have to do some of the groundwork because we can throw you the raft, but you must participate in your own rescue. Ooh. Most definitely. Look, guys, if if you want to partner with us, if you are interested in all and just aiding and just assisting us in turning the state of Arkansas around. Let's do this thing, all right? Let's get you on the right path to financial freedom. And then what we're going to do is each one teach one. Hello. You help somebody else and now together we're turning this whole state right side up cuz right now it's upside down. Mm -hmm. All right? So that's all we got. Stay tuned again to our channel. We're going to bring you more heat. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, signing out.